Hello guys, it's 2014 and this is Computer Tech Lab. So in today's video we have an HP ProBook 440G3. So this is a laptop. So we get this laptop from another computer shop. So the, the guys say that the computer does not display. So let's check it. So this is the adapter. So I'm going to plug in the adapter. I'm going to plug in the power adapter, as you see here. After that, I'm going to plug power cable. So see the laptop is on automatically. As you see the power button LED. Laptop is on. Laptop is on, but no display. Laptop is on, but no display, no display at all. See, the laptop is on. Fan is spinning, but no display, no display. No display, and the laptop is on, fan is spinning. As you can see, the fan is spinning. The fan is spinning and no display, so let's try to start again. Turn on again. So the laptop. Let's turn on. The laptop is on. As you see, the power button is LED. But no display, no display at all. No display, as you can see here. No display, the fan is spinning fine. The power LED is on, the fan is spinning, the laptop is on. Everything fine, but no display, you can see here. So, what you are going to do first, if no display, you are going to check all the voltage and the status of the RAM. That is the RAM, we start to look at the voltage of the RAM and then if the voltage is present at the RAM, this is the R4, it means you're supposed to have 1.2 volt and 2.5 voltage. So let's turn off the laptop, plug, unplug the power adapter, it moves, now the laptop is off. Let like power on to remove the static charge. So I'm gonna check the voltage across the board. Start the RAM first. As we have already removed the motherboard from the housing of the laptop, so we're gonna check the RAM voltage at the memory first. So I'm going to plug the adapter, and the laptop is on. The laptop is on as you see the fan is spinning. You see the power LED is on, the power button LED is on, the laptop is on. So I'm going to turn multimeter in voltage mode. Multimeter in voltage mode. You see the fan is spinning. The laptop is on, multimeter is on. So multimeter in voltage mode. So we're going to check the voltage at the RAM, put the black probe on the ground, and the plus on the RAM. You see, we have 1.2, nice, and we have 2.5. So we have the voltage at the RAM. This is good. So we're going to check the voltage at the at uh, the CPU is hot, means that we the CPU is okay. We have the CPU core voltage and CPU. We have all the three voltage on the CPU because the CPU is hot. We can test the CPU by you see, 
when I touch the CPU is hot, means that all the voltage of the CPU is fine, the 3 voltage is fine. So we are going to check the 3.3 voltage. 3.3 voltage. We have 3.3 voltage here. Look here. Let me show you. This is a multimeter. Check the field voltage over here. This is 5 voltage. At least, at least quite near there. You see people they have 5 volt. While the ground probe is here, we have 5 volt. So, have 5 volt over here. Let me find the field voltage. You see here, this is a coil for 3.3 voltage we have here. Yes, we have. So, we have 5 volt voltage. Even the CMOS. Check out the CMOS here. We have 2.6. That's fine. Good. We have every voltage. Every voltage on the board we have. But we don't have a display. You see? So, what I'm going to do. I'm going to change the RAM first. We have another RAM here from another good laptop here. So, turn off the laptop. And remove the power adapter. Because we have all voltage. Turn off the meter. Because let me use it again because we have all voltage. So I'm going to change the RAM. In the RAM. So I'm going to put another RAM which is good and work fine. Change the run. Put the board back on the housing. Well, the run changed. Eh? So I'm going to plug the power adapter. So I'm going to test again, plug the adapter. Not as plugged. And the laptop is on. I see the fan is spinning. The fan is spinning, the pad is on, but no display. Have no display. No display. We don't have a display at all. The laptop is on. Fan is spinning. Let me start the laptop again. Turn on. Goja na kuja kuna kazi na fanya. Na kuja. Oh, na kuja kuna nani rekodi yapa? Nsubiri yapa na kuja. The laptop is on again. Fan is spinning. See the laptop is on. But no display, so the problem is not the RAM. See, fan is spinning, laptop is on, every voltage is okay, but no display. So, we are going to check the bias because here, we turn off the laptop. So guys, after check all voltage, you're okay in the room, but no display. So what we're going to do, we're going to deal with BIOS. So first of all, we're supposed to program the BIOS and the test. If you program the BIOS and not working, please try to replace the BIOS. So we have program, we have, we have already programmed the BIOS, but no display. So we're going to change the BIOS with Donabot. So in change the BIOS, you're supposed to find the same board like this one. 
with the same model number. As you can see here, this is the donor body. You see, everything look like this is the symbol, like this, the different here is color. This is the green, this is the blue. So we're going to change the bios. We're going to replace this bios with this one and test the laptop again. So So let's take me the let's take up the Hello. Hello. So take out the bios Take out the bios. So the bios is out. So we're going to take the donor board. This is the donor board. So we're going to take the bios. Take this bias and put here. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? So guys, this is a new buy, so we're going to put here on this board. Make sure you put it on the right side. Don't mix the pin. So this is the new bias. So let's, so let's use the gun to put fresh. Use the gun to put the soil down. Good. Change the bias, so we will change the bias. This is the new bias as you see here. So wait for the boat to cool naturally, and then we are going to test. So, guys, for the body cooling, so we are going to clean the body with benzene. So 
so guys let me put the original on because they probably look the wrong after that we are going to put the board back to the housing this is our board let it clean here Put it back. Insert the plug the elastic cable of the board. After that, we are going to turn on the laptop. Plug the adapter. Is plugged in, laptop is on, finish spinning. That way, because you have reset the bias. The fan is spinning, no display. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right here, safety temporarily disabled. We now will check the active management option F10. So, see the HP logo, guys. The laptop is fine. The display is coming. So, the laptop is working fine. Good. See here, we have the message factory forcibly loaded. Real time clock power loss. So, this is how to fix. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. This is the Computer Tech Lab. Thank you.